Okay, you go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, I know the place. It's lucky for you, Pala has only one hotel still working. See that place? You won't see any more very soon. It's probably the last one. Full of rich people. Only money and connections can get you out of here. Bloody idiot. Nobody follows the rules anymore. I told him the plane's gone, but they don't believe me. Everyone thinks the big planes are coming back. Who can say anymore? <laughs> hey, look at that. I see, I think you lose so much on fire. The fire's like a badass, I think. My brother, he's such a beautiful bummer. With a three cat. Hey, you're a rich man. A blast fire destroyed everything. And now he left the country. Yeah, he'll be there. The plague has gripped our beauty. They're not fans of the DJ. Maybe his music choices. Who knows? Hey, what about some of the checkpoints is all, eh? Hi, I mean, I'm from Zana. Hey, when I am from Zana, I'm from Zana. I'm from Zana. Where are you headed? My passenger, driving him to the hotel mm -hmm. in town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir, the airport. Uh, gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Now, on my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer? Yep, beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then, move along. Yes, sir, thank you, sir. See you soon, sir. So good. You tired? Targa's presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men, about what motivates them. It's simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. 
Again, a truck. I'm Capo, and you're a problem. Who are you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel, did you know that? So now I think you work for me now. Get on out here. Get yourself some gear. We got ammo and meds, weapons, whatever you need. Now listen up. This shit really hit the fan back in town. There was supposed to be ceasefire, but that's all gone to hell. I work with a local guy named Kawasi. Runs muscle for the APR. I've got my best man out in the field trying to keep the airpel out from encroaching on my zone. Sorry, but that makes you my auxiliary. Your first duty of the day. I need you to get that rust bucket two-door outside back on the road. You know how to fix cars? Go out there and see if you can get the engine started. Stay on task. You're sick. You don't have time to screw around. Guard. Okay, good. Now that you're mobile, let's see if you can handle something that shoots back. Your fellas got a small outpost, have a click north of here. Now that the bullets are flying again, I don't want them there. Get rid of them. Just got word you cleared out that post. Well done. I've got another job for you. But I can't have you passing out in the middle of it. Grab some shot, I resupply and be ready to go in a few hours. You'll be safe with that house. All right, man. I need you to scout out a UFLL camp further north of your position, an old slaughterhouse. I want a full list of their men and their supply stores. The spot's marked on your map. Head there now. Hey, got your intel. Looks good. Can you see a bricked up building there? Supposedly, UFLL's got a hostage in there. For a national like you. You're to get in there and free him. Wrap up your survey and take care of it. Thanks, man. So who are you? You break out of your cell or something? Man, you are way too sick to be out here. I know a guy who can help you. Find me at Mike's and I'll hook you up. So it's done. Here's the thing about the local economy. The only currency worth anything is diamonds. Forget the paper money. I wouldn't wrap a fish with it. When you work for the APR, you get paid in stones. Now, one of my men, not one of the bright ones, picked up a case of diamonds and dropped them off here yesterday. He stuck him somewhere in the camp and then went and took a bullet back in town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, if you want those rocks, go outside and find them. The case has a tracker you can home in on with your compass. If I were you, I'd go buy some medicine next. Malaria's a big deal, man. You should head over to Mike's. It's an expat bar. Good source for all sorts of shit. Get yourself sorted out and come by the APR office in town. I'll introduce you to Gwasi. We'll talk business. It's okay. He can leave now. See you. So you still need some pills? No problem. I can help. See the guy over there? He's got plenty. Ask nice. Oh, you people never stop. Here's the bloody tape, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Well, aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tapes, are you? Well, I see the problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you, assuming you make it in time. Just passes along for me. So you're not one of them. I'm Ruben Oluagambi, what you call a stringer. And you are new, I can tell by the state of your clothes. They are much too clean. You're taking a chance talking to me. I'm persona non grata around here. The warlords want me out of the country. They don't like the story I'm writing. It's about the war, and about them, of course. But mostly it's about the famous arms dealer, the Jacka. That was him on the tape. Do you know I have covered 16 wars across Africa? 16. And every time he has been there, selling his weapons and making a fortune while millions of people suffer and die. He thinks he can continue to do his work in secret. But not this time. These stories, they are going to come out. The jackers, the warlords, the soldiers, the boy soldiers, even the NGOs. I intend to expose the whole sordid mess. I make it sound very dramatic. 
we'll see if anybody back home even notices. I've been interviewing people for months now. Diplomats, warlords, civilians, wherever I could trick into talking to me. I had some fantastic material. Then the soldiers confiscated my tapes. They said they destroyed them. But maybe not. I don't know. I can't very well go looking for them. I'm no good with a gun, you see. And you need one these days just across the street. You've seen the fighting. The war is getting worse by the minute. It's absurd. Because why are they fighting? For what? You can see the country is destroyed. The people, the diamonds, the cities. What about the Regizon with the Jackass weapons, no less? It is going to end badly. And I'm afraid I'll be here to see it. I'm a bit of a robber neck, I suppose. Listen, if you find any more of my tapes, please bring them back to me. Here at the bar. I need them for my story. I'll tell you right now, I can't pay you. I can only offer you my worthless friendship in return. I'm sorry. There aren't regular services at the moment. Oh, you're not well. You should see a doctor before you really need a priest. Did Ruben send you? He had something for you. I would be very happy to give you what little medicine I have in exchange. I think you should take one of those right away. Those will only last a short while, but I may know where to get more. Not all of my people have left. Many are trapped, scared of what will happen if they are caught trying to leave. And there are others who have chosen to stay. We try to help where we can, and we could use someone like you. What you want, man, the job? I don't know you. But you know me, I'm the famous Prosper Kwasi. You go with the gun? You think you can hit a guy in a fast car? It's a big target, it'll be easy to hit. Is Kwasi talking to you, Kepo? No, he's talking to you, guy. You want a job? We got one. It's good. Assassination. Chief of police. Bam. Kepo, tell him where to find this man. He's riding in a motorcade. It's a moving target. You'll have to pick a spot on the road and wait for him to come to you. That little penis will be in a great big SUV. I'm with the motorcade and kill the cop and make it messy. We need you to send the message. I've got a good feeling about this. How about we pay you right now for the work, hmm? Ambush the motorcade, kill the police chief, and the job is complete. Nobody else in APR knows about this. Other soldiers won't be friendly. Keep your head down. Yeah, it's Joseph. Meet me north of Slaughterhouse. Come closer. So, you're working with APR now to take up police chief. They pay good. I have a proposition for you. What if I told you police chief's brother lived over there? In fishing village. And if you took a book from him, a ledger, that would make your job much easier? His book you take, it will scare the captain very badly. He will not waste time driving around. He will go straight to his police post and hide. Then he is no longer moving target, easier to kill. So what is in this book that is so important? Simple. It is a list of all the bribes the captain takes from APR. For many years, dangerous book. The deputy chief, he likes the other side. When he finds out what captain has done, he will hand over all police weapons to the UFLL, to even the playing field. <coughs> Deputy sends out guns in convoy on open road. Then I attack and take guns. Weapons are worth a lot of money here on open market, of course. You should help me take out convoy. Good opportunity. What do you want? Ow, stop! You thief! Criminal! It's there. Just take the damn thing. I'm sorry I can't. Now leave my family in peace. Now captain is running like little rabbit. Get him in his police station. Come on. I despise you and your weakness. I am your boss and you will do what I say. Or I will bring shame on you. You're going to you you What gives you the right to come here and pass judgment? These are private affairs. You must respect that. I've seen you. You ain't nothing. I'm going to make you all nothing. Come and get it, you piece of shit. Deputy Chief is giving weapons to UFLL, just like I say. They have tracks. They are leaving armory now. I'm going to ambush them. Meet me and we will do this together. Kaguma is buying entire armies as easy as food off a shelf. This is the United Front. I'm Dr. Kakumba. How you get across border? Nobody can come into country these days. Tell him. There is a special forces outfit in area just gun for hired guys, but they are armed to the teeth. They are paid to parachute in and grab someone. He doesn't need to know who. It's okay if he knows. They are here for a big shot from the APR, but if they take our enemy, we got nobody to fight. Just get to the point. The SF team is set up in good position in the desert, two kilometers to southeast. 
Kakumba here doesn't want anybody to think he planned secret rendition would make him look bad. Enough, please. All you have to do is to find this man and destroy their vehicles. The gear in their vehicles, radios, water, canteens, ammo, all the gear they dropped in. This is our struggle. Africa is for Africans. We do not need outside involvement. I expect you to stop this man. Job is yours. Standby point is in Southern Desert. Find the team and destroy their gear. Then they are nice and screwed. Payments here. You're there, it's Paul. I need to talk to you. It's important. Yeah? Meet me at the safe house, south of the OGC farm. Over here. Tell me, right now, are you working for the Israelis? You are, I'll kill you. Just get that straight in your head, right now. Because I'm not going back, I don't belong in a cage. I got a way you can prove to me you are not with this commando team, okay? Go to the villa, find this guy there, some dude from Belgium. Make him get on his radio and give the hit squad the wrong coordinates. That will lead the team to Mokuba, that's where you can destroy their gear. Easier to hit them there than in wide open desert. While you do that, I go get APR troops. They help me take out these men. You know why this hit squad is here. They are supposed to arrest a man who stole medicine from an aid camp. Me, you know. I'm the guy they're looking for. And it's not the stupid medicine. I know they're here because I went AWOL. They never forgive. Anyway, it's true that I've been taking the medical supplies. They are sitting right there in the shanty town. That will confuse the soldiers, at least at first. But these guys are good, much better training than APR. Shanty town lowers the playing field. You and I will have a chance to kill these guys. What? We can work this out, whatever it is. Okay, okay. Bravo Papa Mike, this is Charlie 24. Do you read? We copy, go ahead. Stand by for coordinates. Roger that. This is wrong. APR is gonna take all the gold, then where are we gonna be? Damn. You're teaching the APR a good lesson. Do not let us hold you up, sir. Got it? Hit the Oasis, kill the guards, use your mobile to send us the location. It's gonna be good. Oh, hey! What's happening, man? It's Paul. Do yourself a favor and meet me at Lakeside. What's up? You heard about Kosi's gold? Way cool. Listen, I'm gonna say something and you're gonna think I'm crazy, but hear me out. I want you to kill that king. I'm serious. I know where you can find him. Legion Fort. I'm tight with his son, so it's okay we're doing this. We have his blessing and shit. We need the old man's signet ring, family heirloom, okay? Bring it back here. Prince Edward and I will be waiting. Edward doesn't want to be king here, man. He just wants the family fortune. Can you blame him? Me, I'm gonna take the money I get from this and go to Thailand. Six month vacation, get high every day. How dare you come in here? If you do this, you will pay. I have a son, that's right. If you kill me, he will avenge me. He loves me. He'll eat your heart. Send your friend to the Oasis. This is a private matter. You have no idea how much this means to me. I want to thank you for your kind efforts. Please accept one of my vehicles as my gift. A word of advice. Do not come after me. I am much stronger than my father was. Don't believe everything you hear. Pay us to do a job, eh? You could have a job. Better than the other men I've hired. The UFL is getting very strong thanks to you. That's good. 
Well, Dr. Kagumba is trying to tell you is that we've got a job and we're looking for a freelancer to take it. Someone like you, China. The APR is providing security for some European agribusiness. You know the type. Blokes in three-piece suits eager to try some funny business with the local ecosystem and no complaints. So APR soldiers guard the farms and in exchange the company gives them all the rabbit food they can eat. We would like you to put a stop to this treachery. The company farm is in the foothills east of town. There's a shed in there, between two greenhouses. It houses the irrigation pumps. You figure out a way to destroy them. Then the scientists would understand that the APR cannot offer protection to anybody. If you can do their job, that is. You get the gist, eh? Go to the greenhouse complex, find the shed with all the pipes, take it out. Payment in stones, same as always. Hey, it's Paul, Paul Perrins. I think we should talk. Half kilometer south of town, on the river. Hey, over here! I had an idea. Maybe start an Africa eco tour company. What do you think? I could make a killing out here. Anyway, you know the chemical dump over by the rail spur? There's a canister there, covered in hazard labels. It's military defoliant. Think you could get it for me? Cool. Bring it over to the airstrip before you go to hit the greenhouses. While you're busy destroying the company's irrigation system, I'll go up in a plane and drop defoliant. All the plants die. Then APR troops have no place left to hide. You did not know I had a pilot's license, huh? I'm full of surprises. Here he comes. Kills everybody in his path just to get small canister for his friend Paul. So, can I have it? Okay, now we're ready to go. You at Greenhouse, me in plane. They won't know what hit them. What's the big idea? Running action for the UFLL. Don't you know they're the enemy men? Get it straight. APR all the way. If you're looking for a job, we've got one. Go on, tell him. <clears throat> we've ascertained... No, I ascertained. Me. Kwasi. Yes, the UFLL is blackmailing our friends to the West for medical supplies. So rude. The neighbors purchased some natural gas. It's sitting on a train now, stuck at the depot. The plan is to blow up the tank cars and clear the deal. <clears throat> Rail yard's about one and a half kilometers west of Parlour, right on the edge of the desert. What we'd like you to do is to go straight to the rail yard and take out those natural gas cars. Now, here's the thing. Tankers are durable. Small arm fire isn't going to cut it. You've got to get right in there and use explosives. Can one's trains are gone, hey? No more medicine. Too bad. So sad. It's simple, really. Just go to the rail yard and destroy those natural gas cars. No, 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 for the it's media, Paul, come in to see the rail here, okay? Yeah, but I fell out. Paul. Good, I'm glad you made it. Going to be a big fight today, but first you go to the cattle ranch there. And kill the man inside. Sound good to you? Okay, look. He's in the way. He's got some scam going where he refuses to send out troops. So here's the plan. When you blow up those gas cars, I want one particular train load of soldiers to come after you. No worries, they'll never get anywhere close to you. I will blow up the tracks two miles away. Here's how it will go. Survivors will get off the train, I will get on the train, and shoot their commander dead. Guy's a badass, Gurkha, you know? This will establish my credentials big time. I'll collect a small reward, buy a ticket to Thailand, take a break. But it will be hard escaping that train afterwards. His men will fight me for sure. I could use her help when the time comes. Yes, I'm still at the ranch. How quickly can your men get here? What do you mean? Time. This is a sir. No, I Christ you fire. fucker. No, 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 no. This is a terrible mistake. then the coast is clear on all accounts. Go take out those natural gas cars. Okay, well, whatever you did worked. Train's moving. I'm gonna blow the tracks soon. They're gonna meet me two miles up the tracks. It worked.
So far, it looks like they're all dead or gone. My God. Look, I'll meet up with you in a bit, cool? People say a lot of things. I also heard that somebody was paid to cut their kid. The little jackal? Come on, guy's an arms dealer. Who'd want to kill a guy like shit, that? Nah, thanks to you, yeah? And thanks to me. I've heard things about you. Terrible, evil things. Want a job? You sending this guy? It's perfect. We're planning an attack on the UFLL motor pool. There are a hell of a lot of their vehicles on the road. We like the enemy better when he's on foot. The motor pool's over by the landfill west of town. You can't miss it. You sure as hell can't miss the smell. We, meaning Prosper and I, want you to find that motor pool and take it out. It's Fiedler's choice, all right? You handle it any way you like. It's none of my damn business. Just be sure you take out the air compressors. Today I'm being paid to blow things up. Tell me you do not love your job. Here's your money. Now get on out to that landfill and destroy those compressors. God, he's got the food. Maybe a dozen hey, man, it's Paul. I'm just over the hill from the cattle ranch. Come on over. What do you want? Hey, cool. You want to hit the UFLL where they live? I can do it perfectly. Way better than Pure Fort. This plan is so cool, you love it. Okay, first you go to the Petra Sehel fuel depot northwest of here. Find the manager's office, take the clipboard mark trucking schedule, okay? This is a secret schedule that trucks follow. It's secret because all these trucks are carrying tankers full of gas. It's very valuable. When you hit the motor pool, the boss will call his drivers and tell him to get back quick. But I'll know where to find them because I'll have the map, thanks to you. The front is occupied the fuel terminal, see? They've got a lock on the gas situation around here. That's not right. Good excuse to blow up a gas tanker. I'll use a schedule to find a spot on the road, then shoot the truck that comes back. If the driver lives, he probably won't like me too much. Maybe try to kill me. Good day for us, my friend. You know this thing with the UFNL has been going on for a long time. Both sides are used to it, everybody understands it. But I'm a man of vision. The big man Major Tomboso said so himself. They appear stronger now than ever before, thanks to you, my friend. So how about we make a real change? Destroy the UFNL in the north once and for all. One faction, one leader. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want Kakumba dead. You're the perfect one for the job. Now is it is coming up on Tom Light. He thinks it's hidden, but I know the way. You just follow the river and take the trail up to Gorka Falls. You come back when you are done, we'll have a drink to celebrate. Yeah. And more to come. This is a very rich country, and soon it will be our country. Simon, tell me what's happened. What you want? Money? It's over there. Top desk drawer. Fucking hell, look at him. They killed him? He's dead, man. The hell we do now? Pull it together, we gotta pull it together. It's food and a rug and the reporter from the bar. Listen, the situation has changed and I think it's going to affect both of us. I need to speak with you. Please, can you meet me at the Lomba Camp outside of town? It's isolated there. Thank you for meeting me. I apologize for these dreadful conditions. This was the only safe place I could think of. I hear that Kwasi sent you to Goka Force to kill Dr. Gakumba. So it's true. The APR has launched a massive offensive in Northern District, and the word is, you were meant to be their first target. You are lucky to be alive. They are still looking for you and the other foreigners as well. You've all been declared spies. I don't know if you've heard that bit of perverse news. The soldiers are on their way to Mike's bar. They intend to line up all your friends against the wall and shoot them one by one. They're running up all the villagers as well. Troops are sweeping for civilians in Pala at the moment. They'll reach for the Malia's church before long. When they get there, they will kill everyone inside. Of that, you can be sure. You could help them, you know. Not everyone. There's not enough time for that. But you could go to Mike's or the church. I suppose you have to make that choice. I have to go. A car is on his way. I have arranged transport to Mosate Seleo in the south. I should be safe there. For a while, anyway. Oh, yeah, get inside. Shit, shit. We never had a clue. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? 
Okay, let's block the door. Come on, we'll use a refrigerator. They're coming, hundreds of them. Oh my god, I've never seen so many guys. Nobody's getting in here, so what? Their balls finally dropped. That don't mean shit. Ah, shit, you see what- <laughs> in the Turpreli, standing on a truck, fully exposed. You can do it. When the storm dies down, you'll be able to drive south. We'll be at the crossroads, shot China. We're done yet. Mount up. Fit, you're riding with me. I'll explain on the way down. So now the question is, what's our next move? Look, yeah, Bastion, you came back up and left the country. That's right. I spent ten years eating most of those boys in Angola, and look how they had to pay me. We're on our own, China. Only way any of us are going to make it is if we plan ahead. I've been thinking about it. There's a good chance the warlords in Barsi will decide to join forces, end the conflict for a while. If that happens, soldiers like you and I are fucked. The men in charge always manage to get by. It's the foot soldiers that get lined up against the wall and shot, every time. So, we're going to keep that from happening. Turns out your friend the Jackal's got a huge stockpile of weapons hidden on the island near Port Saleo. We're going to bring them into the city, give them to all the locals, and under an APR flag too. I reckon that'll force my boss to get his head back in the game. Let's get things started up again. Let's face it, Put. We need the business. I've got a captain to handle the boat. Now I just need someone I can trust to escort the goods. How about it? You interested? I can get you a meeting with the big man. Adi Mbantue. All you have to do is make your way to Lay Sejolo. The island's called Sejlala something. Well, I'm Nasrin Davar. I'll be your skipper today. You better know how to use a gun. You know what we're delivering, right? The lieutenant's special shipment? It's going to be bad in Port Silao tonight. Really bad. Listen, when we get there, you have to go find Dr. Ogua. You have to warn him. He'll need time to prep his clinic. 
he'll have a lot of gunshot victims tonight. I'm going to get out of there as soon as we deliver the guns. I'm getting rid of the boat and going to the other side of the lake. You should too. But we're not leaving here until you get out on deck. You're the guard for this little trip. Watch for patrol boats. If anybody gets too close, you open fire. Got it? Ah, no man is immune to malaria, no matter where you come from. I'm Obua. I'm the only doctor here. But that's not why you came. I'm sorry. It's just that we see so many foreign mercenaries. God, even this ceasefire was too much to ask for. At least you bought that to warn us. Perhaps I judge too hastily. Sir, I would like to help you. You must know that medicine is in short supply, but there are other altruists like yourself. If you return here when it is calm, I will be happy to introduce you. Wait, not that way. Take the back door. Less men out there. My name is Andre. If you ever need any help, I'll do what I can. It's Nassine on the barge. I'm in trouble. I've got gunboats chasing me. I need help. I'm on the far side of Lake Segolo. Please come find me. You made it. I thought for sure they were going to get me. They were out for blood, completely furious about the arm shipment. The lieutenant knew what he was doing. He stirred things up all right. Barge is useless now. I've got to figure out the plan B. Maybe I could find a spot here to hold up, set up shop. Could be the best thing, really. I mean, they always best it. Too bad to be left behind like that. Nobody asked you. There's still plenty of men in country. They'll work with me for sure. They need the money. They'll work for me, you mean? Here's a dog hungry for a bone. Maybe Adim Bandwe can give you what you're looking for. Busy man, I see. Stones, uncut. Just so we're clear. Go to the Dagon Cliff Dwellings and destroy the kilns. It's kill or be killed, China. You choose which side of that line you want to be on. Great line. It's Nassim. Look, you're the only man I can think of who would pull this off. Meet me on the Dogon River Delta. So, you're going after Tambosa's medicine supply. Good for you. I figured out a way to hit him where it hurts. There's an outpost down the road. Prostitutes visit there. One man is a regular. He's there now, in fact. His guard will be down. I would like you to kill him for me. Not because of the women. What do I care about that? I simply want to borrow some documents of his. He's a courier, a teamster. He delivers refined malaria medicine to the APR's main storehouse. More to the point, he knows the location of that storehouse. This will be a small detour for you, and then you can move on to your date with those killings. In fact, it'll be a very big help tactically if you do. I'll have a much better chance of getting to that storehouse if the APR is distracted by all that extravagant gunplay you like so much. I intend to plant a bomb in the Artemisia stores. The APR is not only going to lose their ability to process this medicine, but their entire reserve as well. This won't win me any friends. I think you'll have to come pull me out of there. You know what? Our friend is out of the way. I look through the contents of his satchel. You proceed. It's me again. I found the storage site. Below Cal, no dog ruins. Link up when you can. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I didn't sell the weapons. I only gave them away. That's ridiculous. He's an arms dealer. He has to sell the weapons to leave. And now he's gone. He's up to something, I'm telling you. Enough. Look, we have a free agent looking for work. The APR has work for you, soldier. I am Major Tambosa. Right, good. We've been looking for someone like you. There's a serious morphine shortage in this country. The stuff just can't be found. People get desperate when it's time for surgery. They'll use anything to dull the pain. Whiskey, aerosol, fumes. Saw a man drink paint in the ones. This shortage helps us, frankly. Less surgeries, less soldiers surviving. The UFLL has a small quantity of nitrous oxide. We'd like you to destroy it. The gas tanks are an old dental clinic west of Porzaleo. The tanks are stacked high as a chest on a flatbed truck. They're right out there for everyone to see. A stationary target, one that won't fight back. Think you can handle that? Mr. Greaves here has learned to accept the nature of our work. We must always look for the advantage. So... We'll pay in stone, same as always. Just so we're clear, go to the dental clinic and take out those nitrous tanks. Are we good? It's an ugly world and it's getting worse by the minute. It's 
Lasin. Are you done with your meeting? Come meet me near the post office. You caught me by surprise. There's not much time, so I'll get right to the point. Around the corner, there's a post office. Inside, you'll find a parcel. It contains a distributor cap. It will fit the truck you're looking for. Feel free to take it. I understand you're being paid to destroy the truck. That's ridiculous. You're better off fixing it, and then driving it over to the garage at Sefapani, where I work. I really hate the place. And when I heard about the nature's oxide, I had a great idea. We'll drive the tanks into the garage, and then together, we'll rig the tanks. Blow the whole place up. I must warn you, when you pull in, be very careful. You will be carrying a dangerous load. Don't draw any attention to yourself, if you can help it. Make your way to the truck. Your truck is on the road? Good work. I'm at the garage now. See you soon. Okay, I will short out the junction box. You go and open the tanks. Not bad considering. You seem to keep your wits about you. I'll be a while with my gear. See you around. South of the airport. No rest for the wicked, I see. That's good. These are dangerous times for the APR. Nobody's safe anymore, not even me. It's been a long time. Major and I were just discussing what to do about the radio announcer. The propaganda machine in this country is quite impressive, really. It is all lies. Yes, of course, when it's the UFLL broadcasting. We're going to shut the station down. We've learned that they broadcast from a mobile vehicle, and that's how they've managed to avoid our soldiers until now. But at 9 a.m. this morning, they parked the station over Wheeler Gold Village. I would like you to attack this radio trailer and silence their station. You're just one man. I understand it will be difficult, but at least you have the element of surprise. And it is a simple job. All you have to do is blow up one generator. I hope you'll consider our cause. The lies these men tell are helping no one. We've arranged payment, of course. Destroying the generator will cripple the transmitter. Remember, you're looking for Wheeler Gold Village. This is Nasreen. Please meet me at the safe house, across the river from the post office. Thank you for coming. So you're going to destroy Liberation Radio. Good, but I need the station to stay on the air a little while longer. Please go over there and find the man who is monitoring the broadcasts. He is the UFLL sensor. I need you to kill him. Then, when you go to the radio station, have him read the special announcement. After that, feel free to destroy the station if you like. The announcement will start a riot, and that's the point. I need the man killed, very publicly. He's a foreigner visiting the health clinics, a guest of the UFLL. It will look bad for Bantue when people hear my message and then rip his guest limb from limb. He's going to learn that he does not want me as an enemy. There is just one problem. I am this foreign man's driver, so I will surely be in a bad spot when the attacks begin. I hope I can count on your assistance. Who is there? What do you want? There is nothing of value here. Can you give me something? I don't understand. Why are you here? What is this? It's Nasreen again. No more place on the radio. The sensor must be dead. Give my message to the DJ before you destroy that transmitter, please. Do not run your mother in this way. You must stop it now. It's up to you. Do your part, good people. Who is this? What's this about? You want me to read something on the air? You're wasting your time. There is a broadcast delay. The sensor will catch it. Ah, no, let go. Fine, whatever. But nobody will ever hear this. Eat. 
interrupt this song for a very important message. There is an invader in our midst. The crocodiles have brought in a spy. This person is disguised as a health official. They are here to poison our wells. Their poison will cripple our children. Do you hear me? Your children. We cannot let this happen. Together, we must stop this spy immediately. His SUV is on the highway south of Willagold. Don't let him reach the desert. Okay, I read your stupid message. Now get out. I heard the announcement. That was perfect. I can see militia coming this way. Stand by. You may hear from me soon. has returned. Perhaps you'll help us put an end to this once and for all. Hard to believe you managed to survive this long. We need someone to rupture a pipeline. Not just any pipeline. No, Adi Bamtoye's people are pumping water over the border in exchange for large cash payments. The nerve of this man. The pipeline's being serviced at the moment, so it's quite vulnerable. You'll find your weak point on the construction site, about a half a kilometer west of the pumping station on Lake Segolo. This pipe is huge. Will require large explosives. You'll find suitable demolitions at the Taimoko mine. But the mine is in the enemy territory, my friend. West of here, you'll have to be very careful. Grieves worries. He thinks of the people who rely on that water. But this is wartime. Suffering is unavoidable, eh? It is for a greater good, for a stronger Africa. The money's in here. Now you'll find the explosives at the diamond mine demo shed and the pipeline targets at the construction site. Good luck. Yeah, Hakim. Come and meet me up the hill from the levee. You're late. Forgive me. It's just that my time is limited. I have information you can use. Are you familiar with the reservoir pumpers? It's where they control the amount of water that flows through the pipeline. It's quite vulnerable. You would have no problem clipping the equipment. When your pilfer dynamite goes off, water will flow unimpeded out of the bridge, all the way back to that sham of a diamond mine. I'm humiliated by what I'm about to say. I have been working security at the time of mine. I despise the men in charge. They are criminals, but the paycheck is essential. Since I'm about to lose this job, I intend to reveal these men for who they are. There are no diamonds in this mine. There never have been. They tell the soldiers they'll be rich one day if they fight for them. Bullshit. When the canyon floods, the soldiers will almost certainly blame me for the mess. I could use your help getting out of there. You did it. The cutoff system is disabled. I'll wait for you to destroy the pipeline. See what I can find around here. You go on ahead. Like you mercenaries, all the same, like cheap whores. It will work for anyone, even the APR, our sworn enemy. Finally, someone who can get the job done. You've killed a man or two around here, I reckon. Setunia is the worst kind of man. He does not kill anybody himself. But he'll teach other men how to kill. I have no respect for such a man. Unia used to be a shop teacher. Now he teaches the APR how to build roadside bombs. Unia's at the polytechnic. He thinks he's safe because he's a teacher. I seriously doubt he will survive the week. That's because you are on the job. You're going to walk right in there like a big man and take him out. Oh, it's going to be great. The UFLL is very generous. Good money always.
Here are your sounds. Just head east to the body deck and kill you near. Done. This is Hakim. I'll be waiting for you near the rubbish dump. My friend. Sir. This instructor at the Polytechnic, he is involved in more than just classwork. There is a binder. They keep it inside the telecom station at the border crossing. I need it. I'm sure you can get it. Inside the binder are all the maps marking the locations of the cell phone towers. Smugglers use them as landmarks. Before you kill the instructor, persuade him to use the sat phone to text his pilot friend. Give him these coordinates. Pamtoe and Tambosa both know I am a wealthy man. They want what I have. I tell them I cannot access my funds, but they don't believe me, of course. They threaten me. The instructor has been collaborating with the cargo pilot. They redirect aid shipments. The pilot drops it here, the teacher sells it at a profit. I'll do the same, get some hard currency, and then with any luck I can reunite with my family. The instructor Unia is already there at the Polytechnic. I'll call you again when you finish with him. Can't see. Nice. No, 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 no. You're not here to kill me. Oh, thank God, you scared the hell out of me. What is it you want? Ah! I'll do as you say! Please! It won't last long, I'm going in! Okay, it's done. I'll see you later, okay? You can feel that something can happen with the civilians at any moment. Nobody followed you here, correct? I cannot be too careful these days. The enemies of the UFLL are everywhere. <laughs> he lives. Been a while, though. Hope you feel up to the challenge. Right up your alley. We've got an arms dealer who's been giving us problems. So, strong man, you can send a message to the man who runs the black market. He has the wrong idea. Thinks API is a good bet. Now he's working just for them. How do you think I plan to deal with such a man? Make everyone around him understand his mistake. He knows he has been a bad man. He is hiding from me. Does his business on a badge so he can keep moving. He is on the east branch of the Noga River now. Under the rail crossing. The world does not need men such as him. I'm sure you will agree. So you will go to the river, find his badge, and take care of this problem. Should be fine work. Worries will handle your payment. The map's in here. You'll find the barge easily enough. Kill Yabek and you're done. Standard payment. Meet the big chief. I got some serious suggestions for you. You could get control real fast. It's yes. like him. I hear you going after Yabek. Good. You? Meet me just I west of Sepoko. I detail for him. Ah, very good. I didn't think you were coming. This man Yabek you're supposed to kill is very effective. I know. I used to work with him. I have a bomb. Yield is a thousand pounds. All it needs is a fuse. I'd like you to get it for me. I intend to destroy a bridge with that bomb. The bridge will collapse, right on Yabek's boat. Kill him instantly. But only if you find the fuse at the salvage site to the west of here. I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to believe it, but it's true. I have over 30 million dollars sitting in a numbered account in Usur, and I can't touch a penny of it while I'm in this godforsaken country. My family will die in Lagos if I can't get them out in time. I have to get Yabek's cash. There is no other way. When the bridge collapses, the APR troops will come looking for us. We'll have to fight our way out of there together. I'm here. There it is. Okay, hand me the fuse. Okay, we can take over over there. I can't thank you enough. I'll do a sweep of the area, but I think these bastards are done. Ah, oh, very good friend. Come in. Good news. This battle of ours is going to end. Oliver Tambosa and I have talked and we agree. The people are too troubled, too much unrest. What they need is order and security. Here, take this to the Dogon Sediko. Tambosa is there. Tell him I accept his offer. Then he will give you a big diamond attaché. Very valuable. A symbol of good faith. Bring it back here. 
Then we will know where we stand. Hello, my friend. I have to speak to you. This is far the warlords are planning. It's a death sentence for independent operators like you and I. I understand you're going to be picking up some diamonds later today. Good. We need them. Bring them to the airfield. We'll be there waiting. We've arranged for a pilot to exfil us out of this shit hole, but he won't do anything unless we pay him. That's where your diamonds come in. Stamp that ceasefire, you're too late. A peace agreement? What a joke. A comedy act. You think these men wanted peace? They wanted privacy is what they wanted. They wanted the world to stop paying attention to them so they could go on with the raping and pillaging. In peace, you see. It's gonna stop. I'm gonna stop them, and they'll know. They'll be cursing my name when their blood comes spurting out of their necks. And you're not gonna stop me. You think I don't know you, what you're about, what you came here to do? Wake up. I used to be you. They're gonna think you did this. A dirty mercenary who do anything for a payout. That's good. It means a war will start all over again. The real bloodletting has begun. We're gonna cure these men of their disease, you and I. We're gonna pull it right out of their veins. What do you got there? Diamonds? <laughs> Why in God's name didn't you bring the diamonds? The pilot left us, of course. We couldn't pay him thanks to you. Then the soldiers showed up, grabbed all of us. They're blaming the assassination of all the foreigners. They're saying what the problem, and once we're gone, the country will be safe again. It's insane. Get up! No! My leg is shattered in two places. I said get up! You will lord! We had a chat, you and I. Come out to set for party as soon as you can. There you are. So here's what it's come to. Me in charge of the whole operation. I intend to take the situation in hand once and for all. Show these little boys how it's done. First order of business is to get rid of Bantui. Clean slate and all that, you understand. You'll find him at the brewery. His guards are with him, so you should expect a fight. I pay well. Here are the details. Get out of my place! Get the fuck out before I really decide to hurt you! This is my house, my country, my continent! You are a scavenger and a trespasser! Hey, I know you from up north. Me, Arturo Kepo, remember? We quasi. It was a long time ago. Looks like you're working with Greaves. We all are now. That's a problem. Greaves, I mean. With him in charge, we're not safe. You notice how he's always talking to Purefoy? I don't know. Guys like us are on the outside looking in. They're not here. They're out together on some fact-finding mission up in Sopoko. At the border crossing. Probably planning something against us. You should kill them. Both of them. I'll pay you to do it. Come on, man. I'm good for it. And you and me, were a team. We could do a lot once they're out of the way. Here, here's the money. This is a serious offer. There's Sopoko. You can catch them there if you move fast. Everybody says you're making a mistake. It's not too late. Just turn around and leave. You're gonna do it. I can't stop you. But think about it. Can't help you if I'm dead. You gotta decide who you like better in a fight, me or Capo. I mean, come on, it's no contest. Listen, I'll set it up for you. Get the guards to open up the shutters while he's sitting at Greaves' desk. All you gotta do is take a position on the roof across the street. Take him out right there in front of the guards and everything. Nobody will even know it was you. I paid your friend and lieutenant a lot of money so that you and I could talk. This is an expensive conversation we're about to have here. I don't know if you've heard, but there's been an incident at the airport. Some kind of shootout at the OK Corral. These men are taking me there so that I can see it for myself. 
Or maybe they are taking me there to kill me. Who knows? Look, if things get complicated, can I call you? Nobody else will help me. Even my employer is useless. I need to know I can count on you. Otherwise, I can't bring myself to get into your car. It is getting harder and harder just to stand by and write in my notebook and think that's going to change anything. There are days when I wish I were you. Hey. Keep your phone charged. I'll see you soon, hopefully under better circumstances. Finally, you talk forever with that guy. Hey, listen, you smart guy, you know the score. I got big connections inside UFLL. I could run the whole operation, no problem. You taking care of things on the other side with APR. I want you to do the same thing on our side. Voorhees and Carbonell, two big shitheads are off at stupid diamond mine looking at machines. Somebody shoots them there? Hey, nobody knows how it happened. Think you could do it? Kill them? I could make it worth your while. Here's money, a lot of money. After you finish job, you meet me back at front headquarters. Oh, you're cool. You're not shooting anyone tonight, Jack. I understand where you're coming from. You just need the two cats. Same as me. Let's turn around, eh? Stick to me cars instead. I can set it up, you know. Pay off the men. You do it right there inside the bloody headquarters. Cars will stay out of your way. They're really scared of you. You'll be the big man on campus then, for sure. Nothing wrong with that. Not enough. No weapons. Come on, arms up. Magami, bring me oil cloth. Thank you for coming. I can't believe this has happened. Well, actually I can. I've been thrown out of countries before, usually when the military intends to inflict serious harms on its citizens. All bets are off. This war of yours has reached its end game. This will be the last time we'll speak. I'm going to pay you back for your help. There is only one currency I can offer, and that is information. Here it is. The API and the UFLL have caught a truce. Unity at last, eh? But that's bad news for us all. They've joined forces. Their first order of business is to shut down the riot. You know the one I mean. There is an uprising taking place right now at the old prison. The jackal is responsible. I'm sure of it. Everybody has to choose a side now, I suppose. No more bystanders. And that includes me. They told us we could evacuate. But I've decided not to leave. This is my last war. For better or for worse. I am African. This is my home. I have to do something. These are for my family. My wife, Michaela, and my little daughter. If anything happens to me, please make sure they get these. You'll find the address inside. So far, so good. The civilians are gone. Most of them have already crossed the border. An entire country is about to disappear. They're in the way. We can't do our work if they're here. We have to isolate this disease so we can destroy it. I need you to do two things. There's a landing zone a click to east of here. The arms merchant is there with another briefcase full of diamonds. He's waiting for a chopper. He thinks he can get out of here. They're my diamonds, mine. I need them for the border troops, so you get that briefcase for me, understand? And there's the APR and the front. New guys in charge, and you put them there. They're together in one camp, now making their goddamn master plans. They know you, don't they? You could walk right into the bivouac and they'd let you, wouldn't they? Once you're in, you can kill them both, any way you'd like. Think of the possibilities. You know, people back home say they want to help. Every day I hear it, in the paper, on the radio. But they're lying. They're not ready to do what's necessary. They wear their halos and they stand by wringing their hands. You and me, we found a way. Meet me at the border when you're done. My friend, I've got the diamond. And now you're here. We're all right. What a waste of time. Just shoot him. Come on, we know him. This isn't necessary. We made our deal. He's on his own. No, Sorry. you don't. Let's get it done. Do it. It's the only way. The first squad inserted just south. Heads up. Look who's here. Yeah. 
Where? Oh. What brings you around, Chana? We're expecting you. Almost done. Give me the briefcase. They're all here. Good. We'll need them. The APR in the front is still coming after the civilians. Probably think they can kill them or drag them back over the border. The only ones who die today are the ones who have it coming. I planted some dynamite out there, by that overhang on the cliff. But the deck cord's no good, so one of us has to go up there and short-circuit the blasting gaps. That car battery will do the job. The debris will block the road, keep the soldiers from following the refugees. And it'll kill the poor bastard that takes the job. That's either you or me. The other guy's gonna take those diamonds to the border and use them to bribe the guards, so there's no problems with the crossing. Those civilians are making it to the camps tonight, every last raggedy one of them. Then when the handoff's complete, that guy, you or me, is gonna put a bullet into his own head. I do both jobs myself, but there's not enough time. The only way this is gonna work is if we see it the whole way through to the end. Every cell of this cancer has to be destroyed. That includes you and me. If we don't finish this, then the whole mission has been a waste of farce. It'll start up again, just like it always does. So which one are you taking? Diamonds or dynamite? It's up to you. That gun in there is a good piece. Never jams. One shot is all you'll need. You're a terminal case, same as me. At least we can do something about it. Let him pass. By right, I could have you shot just for carrying those guns in here. Attention, attention. All displaced persons under the protection of the national border forces. This is the weapons. I don't suppose you're going to tell me who's Since behind all of this. No, didn't think so. Tell me, what can you do for me? Anyone I think we can reach an accommodation. But for the sake of those souls outside, I hope there's more to your plan than this. 